Hey everyone, in this video we're touring a super tiny off-grid A-frame cabin. It was self-built by a family to be a cozy fairy tale getaway in the woods. When you first get here, it's hard to believe that there's going to be enough room inside because it looks so small from the outside. But it actually has a pretty comfortable setup with a kitchenette, a full living room with a wood stove on the main floor, and a sliding staircase ladder that leads to a super roomy loft that you can walk around in thanks to the big dormers. When you're in the cabin, the small space and the angled walls feel comforting and cozy and really force you to slow down and simplify, which is exactly what you want from a getaway like this. In this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour, so let's go check it out. This video is sponsored by Omaze. They're offering a chance to win an Airstream Caravel 20FB and a Ram 1500 limited truck, while also supporting a great cause. We'll give you more information at the end of the video, and you can also visit omaze.com exploring to find out more. When you first walk into the main doors of the cabin here, the first thing you see are the exposed beams and rafters, and those really showcase the A-frame shape of the cabin. On one side of the door you have this big wood stove and an elevated rack to store some firewood. This is also the main source of heat for the whole space. Along the back wall here is the kitchenette. There's some space to prepare food. There's also a sink and a simple foot pump to bring in water and also a small butane cooktop. Above the counter is also a small shelf to store some cups, glasses, cutlery and other kitchen items. Under the counter there's an electric mini fridge and some room for storage. I really like this foot pump here, it doesn't require any electricity, so it's a great option for a simple off-grid plumbing setup like this. For water, they're currently bringing it in as needed, but they will be setting up a rainwater collection system soon. For electricity, the cabin runs off a homemade solar power setup with three 100 watt solar panels and a 230 amp hour battery bank. The whole space is wired like an extension cord, so it can easily be plugged or unplugged from the power source. The owners are also planning to double the size of the solar power setup to provide a bit more power. What's great about having simple systems like this is that they're more affordable to put together and easier to maintain and repair. They also force you to consume a lot less energy and water, which is important when you're off-grid with limited resources. Over here is the living room, and since this is supposed to be a retreat, it was important to have a nice cozy place to sit around the fire. So there's a nice big three-seater sofa that also converts into a bed. And there's also a comfy lounging chair next to the wood stove. This is the back door and it's actually a pretty cool feature. They made it so you can open up the window like this. And there's also some hooks to store some essential off-grid items like a flashlight, lighters and batteries. This door leads to the propane heated outdoor shower. It's surrounded by wood slat walls to give a bit of privacy. And it's nice that it's attached to the cabin so you don't have to go too far if it's cold outside. It also leads to the outhouse, a little further behind the cabin. Not everyone likes an outhouse, but they are super simple. And in a small cabin like this, it is kind of nice to be able to do your business in a separate space. But if this was going to be a full-time living situation, you could easily build a little addition to the back to have an indoor shower and a composting toilet. Tucked away in the corner here, you almost don't notice the ladder that leads up to the loft, and that's because it follows the angle of the A-frame. This is a really clever design that slides along a modified garage door track. So you can have a solid ladder with a comfortable angle without having to lift and move it around. You just use this handle to slide it back and forth when you need it. And what's great is that during the day, you can have this tucked away so it doesn't obstruct your view. And at night, it's easy to move into place and get up and down from the loft. So now we're up in the loft and usually in a cabin with such a steep roof, you would imagine a loft to feel quite tight and claustrophobic. But with these two big dormers up here, you can comfortably walk all around the queen size bed. It also feels really bright and spacious with the two large windows and the circular window at the foot of the bed. There's approximately six feet of headroom up here, so a lot of people could stand up. Another thing I like about this loft is that it feels really safe up here. There's no unprotected ledge. There's some nice solid metal bars to hold on to. And the ladder's at a pretty comfortable angle, so it's kind of a mix between stairs and a ladder. 
This cabin was finished in 2021 and it cost approximately $20,000 Canadian and a bit more than half of that was the cost of the materials. The family built most of it themselves which helped reduce the cost but they also hired professional help for some of the tasks. The main floor of the cabin is about 16 feet wide and 12 feet deep and it sits on a poured concrete pier foundation. The A-frame itself is built with 2x6s and the front and back walls are built with 2x4s. The walls and the floor are insulated with a mix of rigid foam, pink bats and rock salt. A lot of the materials were salvaged or reclaimed with some of the wooden windows coming from a 150 year old building nearby. The front and back steps and the fire pit were made from stone that was salvaged from an old barn foundation. The shape of an A-frame building naturally reduces the indoor space quite a bit, which isn't always practical for storage and efficiency, but they can be more cost effective and simple to build. They also have a very nostalgic aesthetic because they were quite popular back in the day and they seem to be making a bit of a comeback. I especially like the look of this one on the outside. The dramatic black exterior is quite modern and it contrasts nicely with the rough sawn pine board and batten on the dormers. I also like the mix of geometric shapes with the triangular structure, the round window and the boxy dormers. The family who built this cabin uses it as a retreat but they also rent it out on Airbnb so if you want to check it out we'll put a link in the description below. We also want to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. They're offering the chance to win a stunning Airstream Caravel 20FB and a Ram 1500 limited truck to take you on weekend road trips or even for some full-time travel. Omaze always has amazing sweepstakes and to date they've raised over $150 million for charity so we're super excited to be working with them again. This Airstream has everything you need to go exploring but with the comforts of home wherever you park it, with a full-size memory foam bed, premium kitchen appliances, a modern bathroom and it even has AC for those hot summer days and nights. What we love about this setup is that you can drive to a new spot and set up camp and then you can unhitch the Airstream and head out for an adventure on all kinds of terrain thanks to the Ram's four-wheel drive. When you enter for your chance to win, you're also helping raise money for the Mutt Nation Foundation. They facilitate the adoption of shelter pets, they promote spaying and neutering, and they work with transport partners to assist and relocate animals during natural disasters. So to potentially win an Airstream Caravel 20FB and a Ram 1500 Limited truck, and to support a great cause, go to omaze.com exploring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.